This video is intended as a study guide for um, a basic lactation um, understanding for nurse midwifery or for the woman who wants a little more understanding about um, breastfeeding <clears throat> and the physiology and anatomy of that. So this is a little diagram here during pregnancy. You have estrogen and progesterone, which are very increased and make the ducts um, expand in size and also ex um, <clears throat> differentiate. So that it, it enables the alveolus, the structural unit of the milk secreting duct to differentiate um, and then start secreting milk. And uh, during pregnancy, the milk um, that is being cultivated and created inside of the alveolus um, is pushed towards the areola here through the lactiferous duct. The lactiferous duct then leads into the areola where there are the Montgomery tubercles here. And so all of this, this new milk is very rich in protein and vitamins, preparing for the newborn baby for um, nutrition. It's not quite ejected as much as it would be um, because of the prolactin is being inhibited during pregnancy by the estrogen and the progesterone. So um, this first milk is called lactogenesis 1, so the be beginning of the milk production 1. It switches into lactogenesis 2 when the estrogen and progesterone levels are dramatically decreased from the birth of the placenta. When estrogen and progesterone are removed from the body, the prolactin is released by the anterior pituitary to then increase milk supply, get the prolactation happening. And that's lactogenesis too, which begins about second day postpartum, second through the eighth day, when the milk is really going to start coming in. Um, then after that, it's up to the, um, the infant to suckle frequently, eight to 10 times a day to keep up that prolactin um, in the, for the milk supply. And um, this will stimulate the milk ejection reflex, also called the letdown reflex, baby crying, suckling, or even um, a physical pumping. The most efficient would be though from the actual correct latch of a new infant. Um, so to maintain the milk supply, this is galactopoiesis. And this is just with the reoccurring infant suckling eight to times in a day. The prolactin um, is highest at night. So this is to feed the infant during this first critical months to have uh, proper nutrition and um, the, the best milk supply. And so um, I hope that that was clear and can be used for study purposes. Thank you.